Welcome to the Peel District School Board, where kindergarten sparks learning and children. kindergarten classroom there are two educators. There's an Ontario certified teacher and a designated early childhood educator who work together as a team to plan play-based learning experiences, inquiries, to document learning, to communicate with families, and support the children in the play-based program. The educator team collaborates and works together as a partnership to meet the needs of the children. Every center that is planned within the kindergarten classroom is planned based off of the interests of the children. So as an educator team, we are closely listening, we're observing the children when they are engaged in that play and in those moments where we see the opportunity to pull in literacy, to pull in math, pull in writing, those are the moments during play that we are doing that teaching. So if the children are working at the water table, for example, experimenting with capacity by counting how many scoops they're putting in a container or how many items they're putting in to represent scoops of ice cream. And then perhaps taking that and making a menu for their ice cream shop. So we're incorporating math, language, problem solving, all different areas of the kindergarten program into their play and we guide them through explicit instruction of letter sounds. That could be us sounding out the letters or we can be encouraging the children to sound out the letters and that happens through play. As children play, they demonstrate their learning. The Early Years Educator Team responds to challenges and extends children's learning. We will, through conversations or making observations in their play, pull out some of that academic learning. For example, we had a pair of students who had built a tower outside with blocks. They worked really hard to get it up to six levels, which was about the same height as I am. So they problem solved, had to keep working on it, it fell down a few times. We went through and we counted. We printed that picture and the students wrote about what they had done. Then they added the numbers on the floors. We added some other language. We talked about ordinal numbers, first, second, third, fourth, and added those. And we put it up in the classroom for other students to then reference and see. And then through that observation, we purposely plan playful activities that the children are going to be interested in and engaged, and then they can practice and improve their skills in all areas of development. In kindergarten, play sparks learning both indoors and outdoors. Not just limited to the indoor classroom environment, we bring it outdoors through all sorts of seasons because the seasons really present ample opportunities for children to learn different concepts. So that is a big part of the kindergarten program as well. When we're learning outside, we may bring clipboards and markers and pencils with us and the children will record what they're seeing with pictures or with writing. So they're documenting and making their explorations meaningful in terms of their learning and their play and their interests as well. LES is very crucial for children. Therefore, we make sure to create a very connecting relationship with family and students, and also to make sure that our classroom is set up to reflect diversity and to also to welcome each, each and every child into the classroom. Affirming student identities is really important in our classrooms and we do that in a number of ways. We want to make sure that the books that we read are representing the student population that we have. We want to make sure that students see pictures of their families on the walls. We want to know what traditions and what holidays they celebrate so that we can acknowledge and affirm that in the classroom. Also, we involve parents into the program. We invite them for our field trips. We invite them to come to the classrooms and read stories and play with the children to make sure that every child is very happy and satisfied in the class. Educators document children's learning and consider each child's stage of development when planning. They communicate with families about children's progress throughout the year. Kindergarten communication of learning, the initial observations will come home in November yeah. and then there's another uh, um, communication of learning sent home in February and then again in June. At the Peel District School Board, 
Play Sparks learning as children wonder and learn in kindergarten.